हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शचि टंडन वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्रैक केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्लास एट टॉपिक द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज केमिकल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट from this topic i'll discuss exemplar problems so before starting i just want to remind you to subscribe my channel for getting information about further important uploads and don't forget to share and like this video with your friends so now come with me and let's crack chemistry so my first question is an electric current can produce you have been given four options heating effect only an electric current can produce heating effect glowing or bulb is a example of heating effect then the second option is chemical effect only an electric current can produce chemical effect also uh, electrolysis and uh, electroplating are the example of chemical effect of electric current then third option is magnetic effect only an electric current can produce magnetic effect also deflection of a magnetic needle in the presence of electric current is an example of magnetic effect of electric current so we can conclude that all the three options means chemical heating and magnetic effect are correct so option d is the correct option now question number second bocho and paheli performed experiments taking similar bulbs and cells but two different solutions a and b they found that the bulb in the setup a glows more brightly as compared to that of setup b you would conclude that first option is given higher current is flowing through the circuit in setup a so children the bulb in setup a glows more brightly it indicates that higher current is flowing through the circuit in setup a so children one point you have to keep in your mind that in the case of solutions the conduction is because of the presence of free ions so as the bulb is flowing more brightly in solution a it means more ions are present in solution a so because of the presence of more ions higher current is flowing through the circuit in setup a and because of the flow of higher current the bulb in setup a glows more brightly so option a is the correct option now the next question bocho's uncle has set up an electroplating factory near his village he should dispose of the waste of the factory so this is a simple question you know that disposal of the waste of the factory must be done according to the disposal guidelines of the local authority you must follow the disposal guidelines you cannot dump the waste products in the nearby river because it is going to pollute the river you cannot dump it nearby pond because it's going to pollute the pond also similarly you cannot dump the waste of the factory in the nearby corn field because it will also be polluted so your correct option is the d option according to the disposal guidelines of the local authority Question number fourth. When electric current is passed through a conducting solution, there is a change of color of the solution. This indicates that the change of color of the solution is a direct indication of the chemical effect of electric current. Because when we have seen that during electrolysis, during electroplating, when electric current is passed through the solution, some chemical change takes place. So, change of color is a direct indication that chemical effect of current is taking place now the next question which one of the following solution will not conduct electricity you have been given four options here lemon juice vinegar tap water and vegetable oil before discussing this question i want to mention few points here children in case of solution the conduction in uh, is done with the help of free ions so solutions which conduct electricity are acids bases and salts solutions of acids bases and salts can conduct electricity so we will see the nature of solutions given in four options first option is lemon juice lemon juice consists of citric acid so definitely it will conduct electricity then option b vinegar vinegar consists of acetic acid so being acidic in nature it will again conduct electricity 
So next option is a tap water. Tap water consists of dissolved minerals and salts which make the tap water conductor. So tap water will also conduct electricity. Option fourth is the vegetable oil, which is the correct option. It doesn't consist of acids, bases or salts. So vegetable oil will not conduct electricity. Next question is, which of the following metals is used in electroplating to make objects appear shiny? For giving shiny appearance to an object, chromium metal is used during electroplating. It has several applications in the handles of the cycles, uh, in car parts, Chromium metal is used for electroplating. Next question. Which of the following solutions will not make the bulb in the above figure glow? Just now we have discussed a similar type of questions in which we have seen that solutions of acids, bases and salts, they are conducting. So solutions of Acids, bases and salts are conducting. So solutions of acids, bases and salts being conducting will make the bulb glow. So we will see the nature of solutions given in four options one by one. Sodium chloride being an electrolyte will make the bulb glow. So this is not the correct option. Copper sulfate also being a salt, it will conduct electricity. So this is also not a correct option. The C option is silver nitrate. It is again a salt will make the uh, solution conducting and will make the bulb glow. So this is also not a correct option. Last option D is sugar solution in diluted water. Sugar solution will be a non-conductor because it doesn't consist of any free ions so the solution will be non-conductor so correct option will be option d now you have been given very short uh, questions the question first is the object to be electroplated is taken as they are talking about electroplating in electroplating the object which is to be electroplated is taken as negative electrode so negative electrode is called as cathode cathode which is called as negative electrode for detailed explanation you can refer my video i have already uploaded this in my previous video then question b is one of the most common application of chemical effect of electric current is electroplating electroplating is done for depositing a layer of a metal on various objects for different different reasons now question c small amount of a mineral salt present naturally in water makes it a conductor of electricity so question d is electroplating off they are asking about a metal which is done on objects like water taps and cycle bell to give them a shiny appearance Children, chromium is used for electroplating um, to give a shiny appearance to objects. So, electroplating of chromium. Then, next question. Why is a layer of zinc coated over iron? To prevent the rusting of iron, zinc is coated over iron. So what will happen if zinc is coated over iron, the iron will not be exposed to humid air. The factors which are responsible for rusting of iron, that's why the rusting of iron can be prevented. Next question, will the solution of sugar in distilled water conduct electricity? No, the solution of sugar in distilled water will not be conducting because it doesn't consist of any iron which are responsible for conduction. Next question, name the effect of current responsible for the glow of bulb in an electric current. Heating effect of current is responsible for glowing of bulb in an electric circuit. Still, and I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.